If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the difference between the types of two, two types of functions that is the implicit and the explicit function. How they differ from each other. First of all, we will discuss their definition. Then we move towards the notation and example that differentiate both these, these functions from each other. First of all, we have an explicit function. As I have already written the definition of explicit function, that if y is easily expressed in terms of independent variable x, then we can say that y is called an explicit function. How it is represented? It is represented as y is equal to f of x. If, easy, if, if we can, or you can also say that if we can write the function in, uh, in a way that y is separate and x is separate, both of the variables are separated from each other, then we can say that the function is explicit and there is no complex terms involved. For example, we have y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 2. This is an example of explicit function because x and y are separated from each other and they are, y is, can easily be expressed in terms of the x and they, there is no complex function in it or there is no complexity in the given equation. We can say that this is a explicit function. One more example is y is equal to under root x plus 2. This is also an explicit function as x and y are separated from each other. Now, how it is different from the implicit function? Let's see by uh, using the definition of the implicit function and then its representation and example. So, this is the definition of the implicit function where x and y are so mixed up and y cannot be separated from the independent variable x, then we can say that y is, a, uh, y is called an implicit function. And an implicit function can be denoted by as f of x y equals to 0. This is the representation of the implicit function that, that make it different from the, uh, from the explicit function. As uh, uh, because f, uh, in, in the implicit function x and y are mixed up together. That's why we consider x and y variable both in the function. So in the, uh, the example of the um, implicit function is you can easily differentiate both these functions to example. The example is x square plus y square minus 1 equals to 0. This is one example. Another one is x square plus xy plus y square equals to 2. These are the two examples of implicit function. Now keep one thing in mind that we can convert these implicit function into the explicit function uh, by uh, simplifying them but after simplification, the function becomes complex. So, it becomes difficult for us to move forward with such a complex function. So, that's why the implicit and explicit functions are categorized that one function, that sometimes the function cannot be uh, converted, uh, cannot be converted into a form in which the x and y can be independently expressed. So, implicit functions are the functions where they are mixed up together and it is difficult for us to separate the x and y and, explicit, and in explicit function we can easily uh, separate x and y from each other by doing a simple uh, uh, um, uh, sim by, uh, by using uh, by, by using the simplify method so that's all that's all about the, the short uh, overview of implicit and explicit function how you can differentiate what is what is their uh, representation and what is the example thank you Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.